Uh, greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I, in previous videos, I showed how I had created a Pydantic application using Jinja uh, to prompt users for various data points through a web UI. And I want to modify that Pydantic code by including a number of cylinders and internal options, which are Booleans as checkboxes. And uh, I told GPT-4 what I want. I want a drop down for the engine size. And then I want checkboxes for the internal options because you can't have more than one engine size, at least not yet. And I supplied the existing code that I already have. So here's the Python. And uh, here is the HTML. And now what it's generated is this new Python code. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to copy it. And something I have found painfully is that it's best to, uh, to comment out previous code <clears throat> so that if something breaks, I can just uncomment it and go back to, the pre to a previous version. And so there is the uh, there is the Python, and it looks good. It looks good. And now let's go to the uh, to the HTML. And I'll do the same thing. Let's close that, uh, and go to the top here. We'll comment out this. That should have worked. It didn't. Maybe ah, because I need to uh, go ahead and comment out the whole block like that. All right, so now that should work. And let's add our new HTML, which is over here. Oh, Right. All right. It wants me to keep the existing because I'm going to keep the existing form fields and then add these objects here. All right. So let's undo what I just did. And let's close that. And we take a look at what needs to be added. So car options, H1, there it is, form, car form, engine, okay, existing form, and now I'm going to add this, engine, and all the way down to the submit button, which is already there. Yes, it is. And so I can, technically, I should be able to just drop it right in here. Control S to save, do a sanity check, input form, input form, and form. Okay, so hopefully that works. Never know until you try, right? And so let's uh, let's open up our terminal, and you can see the application has started. Now, theoretically, I should be able to go to one twenty one two seven and refresh the page. And what do we have here? Look at this. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and um, let's see what, oh, okay, we have a problem. It's not, uh, the, the, val uh, the data points are not showing up. Choose manufacturer and choose a year. Uh, let's go ahead and just put a number here. Engine size, put that and see what actually works. Okay, so. So uh, we have uh, some things that are missing. Obviously, manufacturer is missing. Uh, body price. OK, so we've got a bunch of errors. Uh, so let's uh, control shift C, take a look at the console and see what we have. Status of 422, unprocessable entity. So uh, let's take a look. And now we pass this back uh, to ChatGPT and see, oh, 
continue generating. I don't know what's continue generating or uh, the, de the description of what's going on. All right. I don't care about that right now. What I do care about is that um, I need to basically tell GPT that I have a uh, I have a problem with manufacturer and year. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Oh. Okay, so what it's done is all right, so it looks it looks like GPT just ignored all of the previous data that I had submitted. Cars equal right. Okay, same as before. See what it's done uh, as a, in a way to uh, to preserve its token count. It didn't include the entire code. All right, so now I need to go down to my existing code, which is right here, cars, manufacturers, and years. And that should do it. Control-C, grab that data, and let's put some space in between here, and Control-V. And now select all of this, uncomment it, control S. Application seems to be working. And now let's go back, refresh the page. I can close the uh, terminal there. All right, so it looks like I've got a blue BMW from 1981 with a price of 450 a uh, six-cylinder with leather seats and air conditioning, submit. And it's still throwing me, oh, it's still throwing quite a few errors. Uh, oh, and what is this? This is, uh, this is also new. So there's some problems with the HTML and problems with with uh, with the Python as well. This is the fun part of uh, ChatGPT. Sometimes it just uh, it doesn't give you the entire block of code that you need, and things that used to work no longer work, and that is what we're looking at now. All right, thanks for watching and happy debugging.